Jared Jack, 13-year NBA vet, assistant coach for the Detroit Pistons. Jack. He led the NBA in games played four different times in his career and had not missed a game the last four seasons. Oh, dude. Jared Jack can't miss. <laughs> Give him a blindfold and see if he can still make it. Eight for eight for Jared Jack. Jared Jack. Being offensive minded, yet making good reads. And again, he's able to get from point A to point B and make high percentage decisions. He plays hard defensively. And overall, he's just keeping the Raptors a solid, steady. Jimmo and guarded by LeBron. Two seconds left. Green, nine tenths of a second left. On a great pass from Jared. Um, what brought me to Detroit was um, Coach Mott, you know, in a nutshell, he, he called me and told me he was interested in accepting the position um, with the Pistons and that he wanted me to be a part of his staff. And uh, I jumped at the opportunity. Um, since I've been coaching, uh, I've, I've been under the tutelage and direction of Coach Mott and it's been an unbelievable experience. So when this opportunity presented itself, you know, uh, I wasn't, it was no hesitation at all. I was, I was right on board. Uh, it, it was shortly thereafter, um, I, I accepted to, to, to join his staff. Uh, he said, you're going to be coaching summer leagues. I was like, okay. So I took a, took a deep breath with that one because this is, you know, this is who I watch. This is who I mirror. This is who I mimic. And, you know, I, I want to be like him in, in a lot of areas, man. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal coach. I actually got to coach, coach with him. I got to play for him. Um, and, and that's the bloodline I kind of want to be a part of. And the guys have been tremendous. Um, it's been an unbelievable group. They come to work. And that's, that's all you can ask for, man. They come to work and they play hard. <laughs> summer league you have one you have a group that doesn't know each other at all and you have like a week to practice and try to create a framework and, and a style of play um, and somewhat of an expectation level of 15 to 18 guys that don't know each other at all right personally or professionally probably and I think the number one thing when you come in you have to have patience Speaking from somebody who actually, I actually never played a summer league game ever. Um, I wish I did. I tell these guys all the time. I'm super jealous of the position they get to be in. But you know, it's such a fast transition uh, into the NBA, and it's nothing like the level uh, that you've played on I anywhere in the world. Be it overseas, be it college, be it you know these other outlets. You have overtime, you lead and ignite and. Being on the NBA floor, playing with these players, uh, you know, just being put in these certain situations offensively and defensively, um, it can be tough for, 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 for a new player to, to catch on to uh, quickly. And Summer League is a, is a really, really good introduction of what some of that will be like. You have some guys who are roster rotational guys that come down here to play and you get the experience playing against somewhat of what uh, the talent level on a night-by-night -night basis is on the NBA. Detroit 
Uh, I'm Malcolm Casalone, a guard for the Detroit Pistons. I actually signed my pro, my first pro contract, the day before my 17th birthday. To me, it's just the beginning, you know. Like, I'm not like, oh, I want to be in the NBA now. I mean, I'm in the NBA. Oh, that's cool, you know. Like, no, like, I say I have dreams, you know. Like, I want to accomplish some things, and yeah, that's what I'm trying to reach. Found Wiseman fittingly, and the Pistons are 1-0 and at Summer League 89 to 78, the final over Orlando. It's constant, right? You have to have short-term memory, you know, um, constant mental, physical awareness uh, to be able to help yourself excel on, on a daily. You have a Friday, you have a back-to-back -back situation. Like when we got here, our first two days we had a back-to-back. -back. And okay, I played good. Oh, I have another game in less than 24 hours. Yes, literally you do and the expectation level is for you to perform at a certain level. So getting your mind wrapped around how fast this schedule comes, um, I think probably is the biggest thing. Three-point basket, I'm never satisfied on what I'm doing because I think I can always do better. But um, yeah, I, I feel good with the, the player I play with. Everybody's cool with everybody, everybody's... I mean, we all find each other on the court and all that, so... Yeah, and I think the main part would be I gotta get stronger, stronger. And it's more like understanding the game because I'm gonna, it's gonna be a whole different game and I gotta understand it and like... It's different from Europe, so yeah, I gotta adjust. I think it's the main thing. It's a new opportunity to get better, I think. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have minutes, I'm gonna have the ball with the crew, so it's gonna, it's gonna get my confidence higher and higher and get me ready to be an NBA player, you know, like the real NBA player. I mean, as a player, there's always things you don't see. So not only him, but like all the coaches, they're all here to like tell you like, oh, when you do this try and try to do this instead of doing that, when your defender is doing this, do that. So there's so many things that we cannot see while we play and they help us on those things here. Yeah. With him, you don't think, like, you just hoop, you know, like you listen to what we, you got to do and just get good there and hoop. And yeah, that's fun. That's fun playing for him, for sure. You know, you can bog yourself down, racking your brain with this, um, just life. It's not even just, yeah, basketball for us is a big part of it, but just life in general. Yeah, yeah, give me them cookies. Yeah, yeah. I get cookies on Halloween, all types. Uh-huh, nice, handle the ball. You know, I think sometimes we forget to smile and laugh and find, you know, times where we can just, you know, let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's, let's joke around and have a good time and, you know, allow some other emotions to, to, to jump into the room other than just being so stone-faced all the time, you know? Show that bitch from all that. I get it, I'ma play this for y'all. Nah, bro. You know that, yeah. I'm a connoisseur of music. I don't... You ain't old, though. I keep telling you. Not. But I don't, I don't care. You ain't old, though. No, I don't, I don't. I think old is a state of being old is a state of mind. Yeah. And young, also. You ain't. But I like what I deem to be good music. It might be from anybody. 
I'm not one of them. Uh, when I grew up, I ain't one of them. I ain't one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Be it happy like that. <laughs> few different players just from different uh, perspectives that I think would be you know exciting to watch um, I think I think Asar man he's one of the most active players I've, I've ever seen um, watching him you know play alongside you know some of our roster guys and infuse some of his natural talents natural abilities I think it's it's an exciting thing to uh, to await and that's the end of tonight's ball game your final scores Detroit Pistons uh, Marcus, being able to score the basketball, once again playing alongside older guys that maybe can help direct him and navigate him in some of these areas, I think, you know, would be a boost. But I think everybody, man, I think, I hope everybody that came here uh, is leaving with an opportunity bigger than what they had when they, when they came here. That, that was my hope and dream for this whole thing, to provide an opportunity for guys and for their playing careers and hopefully something that could catapult them into the next phase. <laughs>